Hi guys, the objective of this video is to define what is a metamorphic rock. First we will look at what regional and contact metamorphism is, and then we will define the terms we use to classify different types of metamorphic rock. So firstly, just to define metamorphism. Metamorphic rock forms when original rock is transformed in a process called metamorphism. This original rock can either be igneous rock or sedimentary rock. And the original rock will change in its mineral composition and texture, often forming larger crystals. Metamorphism involves many different processes. Recrystallization, pressure solution and plastic deformation. Recrystallization is when we form larger or different crystals in a rock due to high heat and pressure. Pressure solution is when we have the precipitation of minerals due to great pressure. Plastic deformation occurs because of great pressure and heat and it is the bending or folding of rock. Metamorphism happens at temperatures between 250 and 850 degrees Celsius. At these temperatures the rock does not melt, however there is enough heat to cause recrystallization, pressure solution and plastic deformation. This heat allows minerals to react with one another, decompose and for new minerals to grow. So as we know, metamorphism occurs due to either heat or pressure or a combination of the two. Firstly, contact metamorphism occurs purely because of heat. Contact metamorphism occurs when intruding molten rock moves up through the crust. This molten rock cooks the country rock, which is the surrounding rock, when the magma comes in contact with it. The country rock will change in mineralogy and texture when it is cooked by the hot molten rock. This will only occur in small contained regions, as it will only occur where the molten rock comes in contact with the country rock. Unlike contact metamorphism, regional metamorphism occurs due to heat and pressure. Regional metamorphism commonly occurs in regions of mountain building, where there are two converging continental plates, or where we have a subduction zone, where an oceanic plate is moving below a continental plate. In these regions, we have extreme compressional forces on the crust, along with heat, and this can cause changes in the rock's minerals and texture. Unlike contact metamorphism, regional metamorphism occurs across very large regions. And regional metamorphism is associated with the folding of rock. The rock will fold because of the compressional forces acting upon it and the high temperatures which the rock is subjected to. The high temperatures and the great pressures pushing on the rock forces the rock to fold and bend. There are a few minerals which are only really present in metamorphic rocks. These minerals only form when there is high pressure and temperature, and this is associated with the metamorphic processes. These metamorphic minerals include hornfels, kyanite, garnet, and wollastonite. We know metamorphic rock forms when we apply heat and pressure to some sort of igneous or sedimentary rock. Here are a few of the main examples of metamorphic rock that form from their original rock. Firstly, if we apply contact metamorphism, so just heat, to limestone, we will end up with marble. If we apply contact metamorphism to basalt or gabbro, we will end up with amphibolite. If we apply contact metamorphism to sandstone, we will end up with quartzite. And if we apply contact metamorphism to igneous rock, normally more mafic igneous rock, we will end up with a hornfels metamorphic rock. If we apply regional metamorphism, so heat and pressure, to shale, we will end up with slate. If we then continue to apply more heat and pressure to slate, we will end up with schist. If we then continue to apply more heat and more pressure again, we will end up with gneiss. If we apply regional metamorphism to granite, we will end up with granitic gneiss. Gneiss is a term we use to either describe the actual rock gneiss, which forms from the transformation of shale, but it's also used as, de as a descriptive term to describe a rock that has foliation. Foliation refers to these stripes that we can see through the rock. These stripes form when the rock is subjected to a lot of pressure. So now we understand the two main types of metamorphism and the minerals we find in rocks which indicate that metamorphism has taken place. 
In the next video, we will talk about the terms we use to describe metamorphic rocks.